Finance Minister Arun Jaitley will meet state finance ministers in New Delhi today to garner support on GST bill. Minister of State for Finance Arjun Ram Meghwal has said government is working overtime to build a consensus on the long pending goods and services tax bill with the hope of getting it passed during the ongoing parliament session. Meghwal said a consensus is likely to be reached on at least two of the three demands put forth by the opposition. People remember martyrs of Operation Vijay on 17th anniversary of Kargil War today. In 1999, brave Indian soldiers laid down their lives while successfully regaining control of the high outpost in Kargil from Pakistani intruders. President Pranab Mukherjee has completed four years in office. On this occasion, Prime Minister Narendra Modi inaugurated Phase 2 of the Rashtrapati Bhavan Museum yesterday. PM Modi said, we should learn from President how people from diverse political backgrounds can work together. Lok Sabha Speaker Sumitra Mahajan has set up a nine-member committee to probe the Aam Aadmi Party MP Bhagwant Man's video incident which put the parliament security in peril. Speaker announced this saying the committee headed by BJP MP Kirit Somaya will submit its report by 3rd of next month. Meanwhile, Man has been barred from attending parliament proceedings till report is submitted. The Lok Sabha has passed the Institutes of Technology Amendment Bill 2016. The bill seeks to set up six new Indian Institutes of Technology in Tirupati, Palakkad, Goa, Dharwad, Bhilai and Jammu. It also seeks to bring the Indian School of Mines, Dhanbad, within the ambit of the Act. All these institutions will be declared as institutions of national importance. Shiromani Akali Dal has moved privilege motion in Rajya Sabha against Congress leaders Jairam Ramesh and Renuka Chaudhary for allegedly misbehaving with SAD member and Union Minister Harsimrat Kaur Badal. Rajya Sabha was disrupted yesterday over grant of special package to Andhra Pradesh. Supreme Court has allowed a rape survivor to medically terminate her 24-week pregnancy on grounds of abnormality in fetus. Medical board has confirmed that continuation with pregnancy may put physical health of petitioner in grave danger. Under present law, fetus older than 20 weeks cannot be aborted unless it is necessary to save the life of mother. The flood situation in Assam remains critical with the Brahmaputra river overflowing in several districts. Submerging houses and agricultural fields of around 12.5 lakh people and inundating Kaziranga National Park. Brahmaputra river and its tributaries are overflowing in 18 districts of the state. Army, SGRF and NDRF are assisting the district administrations in evacuating the affected population to safer places. Indian Coast Guard has further intensified search operation for the missing AN-32 aircraft. The Coast Guard has said any debris of the missing plane has still not been located and the search area has been expanded. Sri Lanka's courts have ordered the release of 73 fishermen from Tamil Nadu, arrested in recent months for violating the international maritime boundary line. These fishermen are among 77 fishermen detained in Sri Lanka. The remaining four are likely to be released today and their repatriation will take place later this week. 19 people have been killed in a knife attack as a residential care center for mentally disabled in Japan's Sagimihara early morning today. Another 26 people were injured, 20 seriously. Local police have arrested a male suspect after he turned himself in. The man is said to be aged 26 and he is reported to have told police he wanted disabled people to disappear. Eight staff members were on duty at the time at the center, which houses 149 permanent residents. U.S. Democrats opened their four-day convention yesterday to nominate Hillary Clinton for the White House on a divisive note. More than 19,000 emails showed party officials working to undermine the insurgent presidential campaign of Clinton's primary rival, U.S. Senator Bernie Sanders. Though Sanders urged his supporters to vote for his Democratic rival Clinton in order to bar Donald Trump's path to the White House, slamming the Republican as demagogue. In China, heavy floods have left nearly 300 people dead or missing and caused huge economic losses, prompting the army to deploy 59,000 troops for relief and rescue operation. Rain affected more than 14.76 million people in 10 provincial level regions, including the hardest hit provinces of Henan and Hebei, forcing the relocation of 5.14 lakh people. An explosive laden car blew up in a heavily policed district in the center of Syrian capital Damascus yesterday injuring several people and extensive damage. The area houses many recruits from Iranian-backed militia fighting alongside Assad's army. A rebel group claimed it had targeted Iranian-backed militia in the area. Wrestling Federation of India has come out in support of wrestler Narsing Yadav, who failed in dope test. Claiming conspiracy against him, Wrestling Federation has said Prime Minister Narendra Modi has been briefed about the matter. Sports Minister has said final decision on Narsing's participation in Rio Olympics will be taken after the inquiry is completed. Narsing himself has demanded CBI probe into the doping charges against him.